Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. All right, we're back in Scarborough. We're looking for a green-haired giant uh, with a silver snake beneath it. Interesting that that is uh, clickable, that it's, it's highlighting now. But that looks like that might be it. I mean, a green-haired giant would be a uh, tree. Ancient tablet. This ancient stone tablet reveals part of the elaborate instructions for reaching the resting place of a mythical king. So it's not a key per se. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and leave. The game is uh, kind of skipping a little bit as I move. Seems a little bit weird. All right. So we uh, did uh, that. Uh, the next one I think is going to be in the swamp. So let's head up there. Yeah, everyone's gone hungry. It's fine. Actually, you know what? I think we've gotten a lot of conversations with... Yeah, let's take, uh... I don't think we're going to get into any fights, so... Let's just see if, any, if they have anything to say. Wolf tracks in the mud leading south. Half a dozen or so grown animals. If we track them, their pelts could fetch a good price. Pretty sure I killed them already. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Ancient tower. There's the men here. Oh, poop. I don't know who exactly these two people are. Well, I guess we'll find out. So this might not be the best party to uh, do this with, and we're all hungry, and everything like that. The inscriptions speak of a stone key buried in the womb of the Earth Mother, near to waters now still that once rain ran swift and full of life, and sustained all the creatures of the Weald. Womb of the Earth Mother, near to waters now still, that once ran swift and full of life. And so, okay. So, the lake. That would probably be a safe bet. There's some lovely filth down there. Can't wait to start digging. Uh, hello? Better move along before things turn ugly. Okay. You're red. I don't know why you're red. Is anything uh, going to highlight now? Ah. Yes. Not sure why those two guys were in red. There's a railing along here. I never noticed that. Ancient tablet. Excellent.
All right. So that is the swamp. Uh, next, we've got uh, Legakeister. Uh, nothing's at the roadside camp. Uh, Legakeister is a little ways off. Um, I think we'll want to camp. Everyone's now starving. They'll be okay. Alright, three meat will spoil. Let's go ahead and get rid of that conifer. Ooh, Odin's door. Ooh. Ooh. 120 absorption, 20 block chance, plus 5 physical resistance. So anyone who does not have a... Yeah, you don't. There you go, you can have that. Show only weapons, and it includes uh, Odin's door. Alright. Well, uh... That seems like that's going to be a little bit better than uh, Valkyrie's Flower. Although, I really do like the name Valkyrie's Flower. This tremendously sturdy shield is reinforced with metal bars and studded in a way that you've never seen in Norse craftsmanship. Its front bears the symbols, symbol of a raven, and along its rim is written its name, Blorn Valdrosar. Valdrosar. Skallagrimmer gave, this, gave his shield to you in recognition of your leadership in the raid on Lindisfarne. He called it Herd Odins, and in cover, and in cover of its wide circle you feel nearly invincible. But yeah, that is that is remarkably better. That is substantially better than Spearwall. Can't be damaged in combat. That one can be, though. Who else uses a shield? You do. Yeah, block chance is better for uh, someone like her. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I just noticed that. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and dismantle that. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, three meat will spoil, and that is with me doing that. Ugh. All right. No, that's not enough. Back to witchcraft. There we go. Hmm. Means not enough opportunity to uh, do some more construction or anything like that. Although I'm not sure what else I really need. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make camp. Alright. Hmm, I did find some stuff. 27 wood. 27 wood. How long until our... Alright, two days, 21 hours. Alright. Uh, let's bring uh, Idis, Ify, and Morkant along, Kettle, and Nephia. 
See if we get any other uh, little bits of conversation. Farmhouse, dungeon entrance, merchant, tunnel entrance, sewer tunnel. Men here. There we go. Why did it have to be night again? This place. What kind of society could produce such walls? Uh, pretty sure you know about Rome. Well, hello. Some powder. Some corpses that I missed looting at some point. A vial. Empty. Empty. And empty. The inscription on this stone is surprisingly literal. It describes a hunter who lived outside a great outside great walls and selflessly patrolled the wilderness to keep his kinsmen safe, even while shunning their company. No mention of any kind of treasure or hiding place? And at least we know we know we're looking for a place outside the old fortress. That could be anywhere, although the markings do seem to center around the hunter's home. Hmm. I am not sure about. Huh. More corpses that I didn't uh, loot before. Empty. Empty. And... Can I not click on this one? I cannot click on that one. Oh well. This would be so much easier in daylight. still standing there in the rain. That's the bucket. I remember that one. Hmm. Looks like there's a loose brick there. I'm not sure if this is related or not. Magnificent structures, aren't they? The Romans were the first to bring Christianity to this realm, you know. I wonder what marvels we could have now had they stayed. Hi, kids. Glad you're still standing around in the rain there. Ancient tablet. Yeah, okay, makes sense. A, a house outside of the walls. Wait, what is all that? What is all this? I don't get that. 
can't click on any of it. Uh, I don't know. Wait, seriously? She's not here anymore, is she? And yet, all this stuff is still... thievery. Alright, well, you know what? Let's quick save. <laughs> and then I say that those belong to me. Huh. Alright, well, uh, we're going to load that up, because that's really weird. <sighs> there are still some things that I would consider glitches, glitches, you know, glitchiness in this game. <laughs> A little bit. It's not a big deal, though. That is, that is pretty funny that it's like, uh, I say that those are mine, because I'm the only character there or something like that. Let's go ahead and set that. Alright, next up is Inglewood. Camp. Now, six meat will spoil. Jeez, it's like I'm getting too much meat. Maybe I should do some meat, get some uh, meat preserving for, uh, like, Bjorn and stuff. Oh, you do, actually. Let's do that. Um, it's fine. All right. Preserve. There's nothing else to preserve. And again, I don't know that I need it. all that scouting either. Uh, yeah, I'm at 95 scouting. Let's preserve. There we go. So no more meat will spoil. That's good. Uh, if I put you on something else, like just rest. Yeah, so that's... I guess I don't really need... Two people scouting? All right, well, what about, is yours. Life Sucker. 25 to 31. 33 to 40. Maybe I should make another sword. Fourteen, one point three five. Fifteen, one 1.5. Yeah, let's make another sword for uh, Ass Lifer.
Okay, so that's gonna take uh, 40 of our salvage. It's not too. That's not too bad. 100% uh, chance to craft a special property. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, four meat will spoil now. Preserve. Is there anyone else? I guess I could have you tinker. Let's make some more caltrops. There we go. Alright, that'll work. Go ahead and make that camp. Alright, a lucky crucible steel sword and caltrops poison. Alright. Sounds good to me. Take a look at that uh, sword. All right, plus one more. Oh, that's that's <laughs> the the game knows what I need. <laughs> All right, uh, you don't use a sword. Uh, you've got a pretty good axe though. Pretty crappy sling. Lucky gripped wool sling. I mean, it's kind of a shame that uh, we're, like, you know, not using some of the better named weaponry in the game, but... Uh, I need something on you. How about... Uh, I guess I'll give you a tripwire. I should give you guys some other some things as well. A lot of meat I have. And go ahead and have that instead. That's fine for now. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way up here to Inglewood. All right, there we go. So I need to do some things that will uh, improve my the morale of my aggressive people, I think, and conceited people. feel weird in this place. Always had the sense someone's watching us, or something. But when I turn to look, nothing. Hmm. Great dead oak. I feel like that great dead oak might have something to do with it, but I guess we'll find out. Really do enjoy the maps in this game. They are they are just fantastic. The markings describe a place where the heart of the world has burst through stone to reach into the sky. It's described as some sort of throne of rock. Yup. 
I had a feeling. Thought that was something I could click on. Ancient tablet. All right. Hi, leaves. How's it going? Right there up in our face. All right. Let's see if we'll need to rest before we get into uh, Dunfriss. It's now the 7th of August. Small village just north of Hadrian's Wall. It's going to be night time before we get in there. Let's go up there first, and then we'll cut across. Kind of wish that there was always, like, uh, a campsite within an hour of a town or something like that. Or an hour of a location. What meat will spoil, huh? Um... I guess I can have you do some more preserving. Uh, let's see. Kind of tempted to make some movement, uh, uh, benefiting things. I need 12 points for that. All right. Not sure if I'll get that, but I do want that. You're at four. That is just male armor. Which I might want to do... Swap in some stuff. All right, so... You got pretty good uh, range damage reduction. That's pretty good. I guess I don't really need much else at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why I gave you mail. You got mail. That's part of it. Uh, is there anything that I really want to make, though? Uh, what about helmets? Focusing leather helmet. Robust leather helmet. Vigunder's helmet. Uh, yeah, I should probably get you a better helmet. Yeah, do I care about, uh, like, accuracy penalty penalties for her? Not really. Strengthening masked helmet. Adding goggles and a nose guard to an oven-tailed helmet not only yields a little more protection, but looks very impressive. Plus 10 hit points. Alright, uh, yeah, let's make another helmet. Okay, 30 hides. It's going to be a lot. Uh, might need to go buy some more hides and salvage if I do a lot more of this, but uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make the camp. As the sun sets, Idis rolls a small barrel of mead into camp. Anyone up for a drink or ten? Gunner grabs the mead from Idis' hands, takes a large swig, and wipes his mouth with a, with a sleeve before handing it back. Best idea I've heard all week. What say you, Elementrano? Let's turn this into a feast. No, sit down and shut up. Uh, I'll pass, but uh, everyone feel free to partake. 
All of your followers have gained morale. Yay! You've lost six meat. That's fine. With a great cheer, everyone dips into the drink. A few extra pieces of meat are also thrown into a pot and cooked over the roaring fire. And people talk and laugh long into the night. Those who are drinking hold back out of respect for those who aren't. But everyone seems to be having a good time, and they go about their tasks a bit more cheerfully. Kettle stays by your side the entire night, not partaking in the meat either. And yet I am still hungover. Unbreakable masked helmet. So how does this compare to mine? 10, 10, 10, and 20, and 30 durability. Okay, so this is basically a special um, helmet that is uh, completely maxed out. And... I get plus five mental resistance when I wear that. So that is fantastic. Can't be damaged in combat. Uh, yeah, let's give that to you. Since you're more likely to be sitting in melee and stuff. Let's give that to you. The Gunder's helmet is not going to be better for you. A little bit better ranged... Damage reduction, that's a little bit better for you. Mm, mental resistance is good, but uh, I'll take the other things. Nope. 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 Alright, let's just dismantle that. Alrighty, two hides. That's fine. Uh, let's see. When we come back, we will hit up these two things and then uh, head over to Dunfriss. Hopefully uh, it won't be dark when we get there, but I kind of feel like it will be. See you next time, everyone.